Well, the chiming of the bell at 11 o'clock says a very warm welcome to you all who have come to join us for this very special occasion. Whether you're joining us online, a very warm welcome to you too. For the first time, or you're returning, or you're a regular, I hope you find this evening service refreshing. Uh, we've had a fantastic day here at St Nicholas. I've thoroughly enjoyed We've had two nativity services which have gone fantastically well. Uh, and we've uh, enjoyed our own rendition of the uh, 12 days of Christmas. For anyone brave enough to have a look, please go onto our YouTube channel where you'll find it. But it's been wonderful. I spoke to one little girl dressed as a shepherd. And um, her mum had said that she'd uh, been asked what she wanted to come, to, uh, come as. And she said, a shepherd. And her mum said it was good because uh, in the school nativity play, she'd played the part of a pig. And that as they read the script, they realised that probably the pig hadn't got much of a role. So, so she appeared here today in the shepherd outfit with her little sheep tucked under her arm. It was wonderful. So just some information about the service as we go along. You'll notice that our service is on our monitors um, so please follow the monitors. You'll find some of the words in bold print. Those are for you to respond to should you feel comfortable doing so. This is a communion service. and those, So for those at home, if you would like to at this point gather together some bread and wine or fruit juice, and at the time at which we're sharing communion here, you can share in unity with us at that time. Um, every week we have special guests come forward and help us with our service and this evening is no exception. So Annie will be giving us our intercessions this evening and Evelyn will be reading so we look forward to seeing them in a short time. There is a collection here during the last hymn to support the work of this church, not just for today, but for the rest of the year and the next Christmas and the one after that, we hope. So there is a collection that goes during the last hymn, so uh, just be aware of that. And if you've uh, not got any change, because we're becoming a cashless society, I'm aware, uh, it's okay because we've got a card reader. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's always a few things that happen when a woman's a vicar of a church. One is there's always toilets. Two, it's always warm. And three, there's a card reader. So, <laughs> so just to introduce myself for those who aren't aware, my name is uh, Reverend Mark Mattox. And hi, I've been the vicar here for the last four years. Can't believe it, but two of those have been in lockdown. So let's just pause at the moment as we begin our act of worship. Please stand. Spirit of God, inspire our worship and praise. Lead us to Jesus. Spirit of God, teach us the way of Jesus. Make us like Jesus. Spirit of God, help us to forgive and love one another. Make us one body. Spirit of God, reveal to us the wonder of God's love. Make us ever grateful. Spirit of God, fall upon your church. Make us anew. And so we sing our first carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem.
please be seated. So now we come to that time when we have the opportunity to say sorry to God for those things that we have thought and said and done that add to a broken world. So hear the words of the angel to Joseph. You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Let us seek the forgiveness of God through Jesus, the Saviour of the world. Lord of grace and truth, we confess our unworthiness to stand in your presence as your children. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. The Virgin Mary accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive our disobedience to your will. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. Your son, our Saviour, was born in poverty in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. The shepherds left their flocks to go to Bethlehem. Forgive our self-interest and lack of vision. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. The wise men follow the star to find Jesus the King. Forgive our reluctance to seek you. We have sinned and heal us. And so the absolution. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself and cleanse you from your sins. For the word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, before we have our gospel reading, let's stand for the Gloria. Please stand.
standing for our Bible reading. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There is a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. So here we are once more celebrating this remarkable event, the birth of baby Jesus. This afternoon at our nativity services, we reminded of each person included in the story. From the angels to Mary, Joseph, shepherds and three kings, even a donkey and a star, all part of this amazing event. We can be forgiven for thinking that the birth of the Son of God was the completed plan that God had for us all. His birth had been foretold over many generations. But this baby was a gift given to the world. A present from God that would, when unwrapped, reveal something of the radical love of God for all his people. For this baby held the fullness of the desire of God to offer to the world hope, peace, joy and love. These are the most powerful gifts God has given And the gift of this baby was the start of something, for from that day of his birth, Jesus Christ was to love, challenge and disturb the world, calling the world to rise and live in relationship with God and with each other. And in doing so, to change the bit of the world that is around us with the light of God's love shown in Jesus and dwelling among us. It's easy when we look at such an idyllic scene to romanticise what this story is really all about. My daughter-in-law texted me this afternoon. She'd been watching something on the television and she said, Mark, I hadn't realised Mary and Joseph weren't married. I 
can't believe I've gone all these years and I hadn't realised Mary and Joseph weren't married. And I said, such is the amazing, ridiculous, outrageous story of Jesus' birth. You see, we've placed it in nice scenery. But the reality is that surrounding this birth was threats, murder, challenges, escaping to exile, just to name but a few. The sense of Mary's own life being at risk because she carried this baby. Not stories we hear in our school nativity plays, are they? But this is the truth and makes God's love that much more richer. Makes God's presence in the world so much more worth listening and pursuing. As I reflect upon this last year, I am surrounded by people who offer those gifts to the world. Those gifts of obedience, those gifts of standing up instead of sitting down, of saying yes instead of saying no, of seeing the world through God's lens. You see, the greatest gift that we can unwrap this year is what lies not under a Christmas tree, but within each of us. Those same gifts of hope, peace, joy and love for all of those around us. As I've reflected, I have been reminded that in the parish of Codsall and Codsall Wood, we've gathered to enjoy each other's company, inviting all to the Curry and Cod Club, which has been very successful, at the Pendrel Arms. We have collected food for food bank and we have a new initiative we have begun over the last few weeks to include uh, looking at things internationally so we've taken part in a twinner toilet scheme yes it's a real thing providing better sanitation in other parts of the world so if you look in any of the church toilets, you will see a small photograph of a toilet in Africa, which is sponsored by the church. We've had a wonderful Christmas tree festival, celebrating the community groups, with each tree, of course, showing us something different. We have our bi-weekly coffee, cake and chat. There's the railway group, the history group, there's the ladies' circle, the midweek online prayer meeting, and the list goes on. Opportunities for people to come together, to share their gifts and talents, and give love, joy, peace, and hope to others in our community. It's remarkable when I look around me at the wonderful, gifted people I see. People who have begun by saying, I'm never going to play, I don't want to play the organ if you don't mind. Or people who said, I'll have a go at putting the AV system together and thinking, can we do it? I have seen people who have visited, telephoned people, sent cards and letters, people who have joined choirs to bring pleasure and delight to others. And finally, the church parish council and the local businesses have come together to offer a weekly place of welcome with a free cuppa and a breakfast every Wednesday morning in the love and liquor. Yes, if you see the vicar at nine o'clock on a Wednesday morning going into the love and liquor, 
It is me, and I am welcoming any of you that would like to join me. It's become a wonderful story of success. People gathering to share their grief, their fears, their concerns, laughter, stories. It's been a wonderful blessing. So when we remember the Christmas story, let us remember that it is filled with ordinary people being part of God's extraordinary plan. And so the Christmas story keeps being revealed to each and every one who opens themselves up to the possibilities of God's love for them, held in the promise of this small baby. A gift chosen and unwrapped in a stable. Christ really is the gift that just keeps on giving. If we are open enough to say yes. Yes to making the phone call or writing the message to the person who's been on our minds. Yes to knitting hats and mittens and blankets that will be used for the premature baby unit. Yes, to offering to volunteering for something that may be a bit of a challenge. So as I said before, members of the audio-visual team, ensuring that every Sunday service goes online every week so that those who can't be with us can still share. Yes, to saying, I have an idea. You know the twin a toilet idea came from Bridget, who's sitting nicely over the back there who'd gone to a festival and experienced what we could call a challenging time with toilets and realised that for her, it would be an inconvenience for a few days. But for others, this is a lifetime experience. So she came back and said, I have an idea. Yes, to shall we offer a place of warmth and welcome to those in our community that would, be, would like to meet others and maybe get a bit of support. You see, the greatest gift that we have is within each one of us, working together to make a better world, full of those qualities that God shows us in Jesus and keeping the Christmas story alive. As I look to 2023, there will be more opportunities to serve our communities and make a difference. So I ask you, have you unwrapped the gift within you? Is there something you could do to make a difference? Is God asking you to be brave and stand up instead of sit down, to say yes instead of no. Jesus has another name. It's the servant king and gave an example of how to serve by seeing all around him as a precious gift. Why not make 2023 the year when you give the gift within you to others who are waiting to receive it? At an impromptu carol karaoke on Wednesday morning at the drop-in, I was reminded of a final verse of a carol in the bleak midwinter. And I'll leave you with this thought. So the lyrics say this. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can, I give him. Give him my heart. Amen.
So let's stand to sing our next carol, Royal Shepherds Watch. Please stand. As we remain standing, let us confess our faith in the Son of God. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave. He was born in human likeness and was obedient. even death of the cross. Therefore, God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Please be seated. And he now brings us our prayers of intercession. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you were born to share with us in all experiences of life. We come to you now, trusting that you will understand the needs of the world, your church, and the people for whom we pray. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, Speak of your wisdom and give guidance to the leaders of nations in ways they can hear and understand. Speak, and may your kingdom of peace, justice and righteousness be established on earth. Lord Jesus, mighty God, speak of your holiness to your church throughout the world. Speak and let your people celebrate your birth with a new commitment. Let us joyfully proclaim your glory so that the whole earth is filled with the sound of praise and thanksgiving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, everlasting Father, speak to your children of your love. Speak and be born again in our hearts today. Speak and let your love surround us and those with whom we share this Christmas. Help us to see you in others, so that by loving and serving them, we may also love and serve you. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. I pray. Lord Jesus, Wonderful Counselor, speak words of comfort, love and compassion to those who are suffering bereavement, loneliness or sickness of body or mind. Speak and let them find peace and reassurance 
in knowing the light of your presence with them in their darkness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, in your compassionate understanding of what it is to be human, hear our prayers. Use them and us to bring new peace, joy, love and hope into the lives of those for whom we have prayed. For you are born to bring salvation to all through the grace of God our Father. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, since the pandemic, many things have changed in our church, and this, the sharing of the peace is one of them. So uh, I'm going to take you through the training manual, and then we're going to enjoy sharing that peace with one another. So here we use sign to share that peace. So when I say the peace of the Lord be always with you, and you say also with you, and then we say, peace be with you. So can we share that? Peace be with you. So please stand. So unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Please share that sign with each other. <laughs> Please be seated. So let us pause as we begin now our Eucharistic prayer. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your son Jesus Christ to be our saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you, with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, 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 God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, the broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends. And taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, as we remember all that Jesus did, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the world. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with St Nicholas and St Peter and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours. O oh, loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God here among us, bring us to light and life. And so for those of you joining us from your homes, please take this opportunity to gather both bread and wine or fruit juice. For those of us in the church building, Annie will direct us an aisle at the time to the front. And I've said that many things have changed during COVID, and this is another one of those changes. So here at St. Nicholas, we now dip the wafer into the wine. We tint it. If for whatever reason you prefer not to have the wine as you come towards me, can I ask you please to just place your hand out indicating wafer only. And all of you, are welcome to receive a blessing from God. So come, for all things are now prepared.
The blood of Christ shed for us all. Amen. So let us say together, Lord, we have broken your bread and received your life. By the power of your spirit, keep us always in your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, this is the Church of England, so it wouldn't be a Church of England service if we didn't have a few notices. So just to say, services in the morning are 9 o'clock at St Peter's, Cotswold Wood, and 10 o'clock here, to which all are very welcome. Our services here online, they are uh, live streamed every Sunday, and our services here are also every Sunday at 10 o'clock, to which you are all very welcome. So let's stand to sing our final hymn during which our collection will be taken. O oh, come, all ye faithful. Please stand.
And so for those both online and here in our church buildings, I am probably a minute early, but I want to wish you all a very merry Christmas and a healthy uh, new year. Powered by God's unconditional love, walking through the world with mercy in your hearts, let your lips speak forgiveness and your hands be ready to bless. The joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds, and the peace of the Christ child fill your heart this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. So whatever you're doing in the next 24 hours, make sure you're enjoying yourselves. Thank you. <laughs>